It is currently 4.20 p.m. All right, guys. I played a game called The Stanley Parable a couple of years ago. And today, they released something called The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Apparently, it's like a, a new version of the game with tons of new content. So, since I really like the original, I figured let us go ahead and check it out. Don't really know exactly what to expect from it. But I guess we'll, uh, we'll see. Hang on, before we get started, can I just say something? Thank you for actually setting the clock both times you've booted up the game. I did actually set the clock when I booted up this game before I started today's live stream. A lot of people don't take that step seriously, they just leave the clock set at 12 and call it a day. But you're actually taking the time to set the clock and I appreciate that. So this game, in case you're unfamiliar, it's not even really a game that you play, it's mostly a game that plays you. Okay, so when I first booted up the game earlier, before I started today's live stream, it asked me what the time was, and then I closed out the game again. Uh, and now I just entered it once more. It's already, it's already started. <laughs> That's how I know that you're, or that you care about this experience and you're paying attention. I don't even have any way of knowing if the times you're setting are correct. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. Since you've been so cooperative, next time you boot up the game and see this screen, just set your clock to your favorite time. I actually would have picked 4.20 already. Go ahead, pick whichever time you want, even if it's not the correct time. You've earned it. All right, I'll let you get back to the video game now. <laughs> I'm already getting memed! Um, so let me pull up the description of this game real quick on Steam. So the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe is an expanded reimagining of the 2013 The Stanley Parable. You will play as Stanley and you will not play as Stanley. You will make a choice and you will become powerless. You're not here to win. The Stanley Parable is a game that plays you. I really like the original. Let's see. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. He was that back in the day. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him <laughs> through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Yeah, that's literally every and programmer day, ever. Something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Um, so, um, when I first put up the game, it first asked me the time, and then secondly, it also asked me if I had already played the original version of Stanley Parable. Um, I answered that I did. So, I don't really know exactly if that is... Used in any way, shape, or form? But I guess we'll find out. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't remember exactly where everything was at, though. But I remember this game being an absolute disaster. With all kinds of plot twists. Alright, where's the room? 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I think it's about time we bring Twitch chat onto the screen as well, guys. He picked the door on the left. Do we listen? Do we listen to the narrator? New subscriber detected. And do we actually do what we want him to do? Back from a week vacation only to see Loco playing Office Worker Simulator. <laughs> Let's go down that very YOLO guy. Thank you for the 18 months. Hope you had a good holiday. I would listen, Loco. It's a trap, Loco. Don't. I think I'm gonna obey his command for now. He sounds friendly, yeah. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a coworker? Resent coworker for not supporting you? Let it ball up inside you? Take out your aggression? That's something it said. Anyways, use slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on the text. This one, sure. Yeah, everyone's unique. You most of all. I'm already feeling great, man. This is a nice, positive office where I feel loved. I feel wanted. I feel needed. I'm here to press buttons. Numbers of slides on this slide. Charts, slides, charts, and slides. Technically the truth, yes. Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information. <laughs> Rate of increase in graphs per slide. <laughs> or per slide. Okay, yeah. Please no more charts. I'm begging. Stop, stop, stop. The boss appreciation minute. On your boss appreciation minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Fill out in triplicate and return to your boss appreciation specialist. Solving interpersonal conflict. If you've ever find yourself in a conflict with another diligent employee like yourself, but more inclined towards conflict, unless you're the kind of person who... <laughs> what are your dreams for the future? Mitosis, plant life, football, comatose. All right. Those are the words I saw first. Not a good set. No, not a good set of words. It doesn't matter. Anyways. Uh, the boss's office. The boss's office. It was up. It was up. Coming to a staircase... Stanley walked yeah, upstairs yeah. to his boss's office. Oh yeah, my boss had a huge office here on the left. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code. What? Sheer luck. Amazing. Dude. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That's amazing. A 1 in 10,000 chance that I got it on the second try. Yeah. That's why you guys are subscribed to my live stream, right? Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? <laughs> this question would not go unanswered for long. This guy goes to his job for years to press a button that the button mentions on the screen, and he's never thought about it? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Okay, I'm gonna listen to everything the guy told me, okay? I am going... That one says escape. <laughs> nope. Nope.
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This seems fine. This seems totally healthy, totally sane. Just to spy on every single one of your employees. A little bit of mind control has never hurt anyone. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? We're going really far. I don't remember doing no. this. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power yeah. over another human life. Destroy it! For he would dismantle the controls yeah. once and for all. Destroy it! What's going on, James? Thank you, buddy Warren, for gifting us up to Lubinsky. Mind control idol awaiting input. Is that what programmers essentially do? They create mind control machines? Power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Off! I turned it off, guys. I did it. We beat the game. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He First had try, baby. The machine unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Was that it? Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. That it only cost me 15 bucks, guys. The only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. That was only 15 euro. Uh, I'm listening to what the man is telling me to do. I'm doing it. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. I did, the you. immense possibility of the new path before. I can refund. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy.
I am 427, by the way. 427. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I have no idea exactly what was added to the game. But apparently some things have. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Not this time. Not this time. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm-hmm. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to look at the employee lounge to admire it. There it is. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Look at that. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. It is just so wonderful. $1.25 for a can? That is not a bad deal at all. Very nice. Yes. Oh. Really, really worth it being here in the room. Mm hmm. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. No, I was looking at the cans. Really worth it. I can stay in here until, yeah, exactly, until my two hours are up and then I can at no longer point, refund the game. Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. What? It's possible that this is why everyone left. <laughs> they all left because of Stanley? Oh, no. Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. True. When a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Screw you, game. You don't control me. I'm standing here for at least another minute. We can listen to the clock. Okay, okay, fine. I'll leave. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. I am not listening to the man this time around. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Do not jump from this cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, $5,000. For causing my own death, I have to pay? Ah, oh, yikes. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. No! Nope. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. For her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Her? She's been waiting. Oh no! Where is she? New subscriber detected. Ha! You should not neglect That's her, narrator, Stanley. Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. The myth, I need to answer the phone. Thank you for your resub. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Let me pick up the phone. I don't know how. I don't have hands. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right now. Is that a a woman? Ha! <laughs> Women. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? 
I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Who would want to spend their life with me? Sad. She's kind of cute, though. Very sad story Sorry. About Sorry. The death of a man named Stanley. No! Good morning, employee 427. Press U on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. I'll press G. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. I don't have food. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Please press T to watch TV. Okay. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. I don't have a television. One day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Please press X to spend time with the boys. I first had to press T to watch television. Okay, fine. I'll press X to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Please press F to pr Guys, nothing's happening! As he wandered through oh. this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. Line TM? And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Please press L to tell your... I'm gonna press another button. Okay, I have to press L. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Please press X to tell your wife you love her. I mean, she is beautiful, and, you know, she hasn't said a lot ever since I got home, but... I do love her. But there is no answer. How could there possibly Never mind. In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. My wife turned into a desk. Plus, okay, I'll go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm not doing it! You can't catch me not doing it! Do it, loco? Okay. You see? Can he just not hear me? I did it. How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? Oh no. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Please press a V to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey... Can I play the video game now? To. I must. Perhaps... Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Please die. <laughs> oh, no. And I tried again. 
and Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. My objective said, please die. That's. Anyways, we're back. I've been staring at the screen for an hour. No new objectives have come. So I decide to get up and check where my co-workers are. Loco's worst nightmare, a desk All job. His co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Which one do we take this time, guys? Left or right? There's a new content door. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? What does it mean? It's not StarCraft 2, I can tell you that much. Bunny, I don't like this. That's not, bunny, Bunny, that's not a good joke. Here comes the content! Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. Okay. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. What? Please. It's like a Disneyland ride. See what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Okay. Oh well, this sounds delightful. This is an ad in a video game. See the thrilling new Ultra <laughs> Deluxe content. The problem is I have not played the original one, you know, for a long time, so I don't really remember where things end and where things. I, I don't know. Anyways, doesn't matter. Okay, so far it's an elephant. <laughs> yeah, I got an ad for the game I already bought. The beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. <laughs> I already got the game. Um. Is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Alright, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Let's do it, bro. I'm ready. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. <laughs> yes! Yes! Okay. Let's see the content. Exactly, the content, bro. Stanley. Show me it within two hours, because otherwise I can still return the video game. I'm just, I'm just saying. New content: the jump All circle. Right. <gasps> All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. Okay, that's well worth fifteen bucks. Can I jump outside the circle? No, I can only jump within the circle. This is well worth my money. God, it's a lot. <laughs> I can't jump anymore. I got an error message. Okay. Uh. <laughs> is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? That was the whole floor? Dedicated to... Another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Mm -hmm. Is this what passes for exciting new content? Yes. This is new content. And I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that... No, you can't. You die. Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Now with over a thousand hours of new content. 30 and trillion? Oh, wait. No way. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. You wouldn't be able to make it. Is. 
There's no way. There, I know there's YouTube videos out there of people counting. I know that's the original Mr. Beast content. Um, the guy, the guy did counting. Yes, high quality videos. This is Mr. Beast in 2017, counting to tw or to 100,000, and apparently that took 40 hours. 1106, Yeah, I, this takes 40 hours. There's no way you could count to 30 trillion. There is, there is absolutely zero chance you're gonna be able to make it before dying. There's no way, dude. I don't believe it. Anyways. Thank you for playing. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying the new content. That's it. Oh, you've got to be. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. This is what happens when greedy video game developers Thank you. have no respect for their fan base. Thank you. A cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. That's actually what I was thinking. Started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, "Test achievement, please ignore." What quality? Where can you find the achievements again? I never know how to do anything on Steam. Oh, it's right over here. View my achievements. Get your few first achievements. Complete the... Wait. I completed the, the... I completed this one already. I already beat the game. Test achievement, please ignore. Test achievement description, replace this. Welcome back. Quit the game and then start it again. You can't jump. No, seriously, we disabled it. Play the Stanley Barable for the entire duration of a Tuesday? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I ruined this one! No way! This is the final achievement. Super go outside. Don't play the Stanley Parable for 10 years. <laughs> Alright, I'll unlock it in 2032, I guess. But it's safe to assume one day I will unlock this achievement. So, you know, at least I've got that going for me. At least there's there's some, you know. Insurance department signed off on this. I planted some seeds for the future. And I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Yes. <sighs> it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. He could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. Mm, that's what she said. What do you say, friend? That's also what she said. Uh, no! <laughs> uh, what? Oh, no. Um... Guys? I don't even have an office. Well, that's my office, but I have don't... I hate Mondays? Okay. Oh, we have a picture of my old office building. Okay, that's good. That's good. Psst! Stanley! Come over here! In the vent! I want to show you something! This is weird. Coffee nut. There's also a screwdriver. What? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content yeah. turned out to be? Well, yeah. It got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Okay. Take a look. What? <laughs> I call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experience. Yeah, it's like when you go f when you go out for the first time in Elden Ring. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. That is the greatest memory I've I've got as well. <gasps> The memory zone. 
You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap re-release? Remember back Sounds in October sweet, of 2013, when the game originally launched? Aww. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. <laughs> it's so... It's so dumb. Time, indoors, monthly, shapes, graphs, natural geographic, and car go. Okay, let's look. The Stanley Parable Collector's Edition. 2014 Independent Games Festival, the Audience Award. The British Academy of Fil uh, Film and Television Arts, Stanley Parable, in the category of story. I don't know if this one's real, man. Good, good times. We've got pictures of the original Stanley Parable right here on the walls. That's good. We even have some carts. Oh, yeah. You can send those to your friends. What? I remember. I remember. The memory zone. Temp. Okay. Our first kiss. My first car. The release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. The original remake. Ah, they're using the old school version of Firefox. Linguists identify 15,000 year old ultra conserved words. Okay. Six components of great corporate culture. What a beautiful place. Smile because it happened. A trip down memory lane. A one dollar bill. Why do we frame one dollar bills? What is this? What is going on? I'm so confused. The Stanley Parable demonstration. Begin the demo. Oh, I guess there used to be a demo. Go outside. Don't play for five years. It is impossible to get this achievement. <laughs> Wait, is this an achievement from the original game? Was the original version five years? This is such a troll, man. That's great. The first dollar you ever made? You're supposed to be framing your very first dollar? Okay, then. I probably spend it on candy, guys. I'll be honest with you. Thank you, narrator, for creating this beautiful place for us to remember the Stanley Parable. Back when gaming developers is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. When they had like this integrity. Triumph of games journalism. Ten out of ten from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote: "Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created." Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. <laughs> That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim. It was Persona 3. It was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. Yeah. A lifeless husk. With an hour of new elevator content. And jumping. Jumping. Don't forget about the jumping. Let's begin again. There's a, a Minecraft picture on the wall. The nostal or the tasteful nostalgic. It was good. Alright. Can we go downstairs? See what's happening here? Memory zone maintenance. Oh, okay. I can't jump anymore, actually. I could only jump in the circle. Aw, oh, remember those days, guys, when we could go left or right? Like it was only a little bit ago. Person of the year. Okay, very nice. Look, it's like a budget uh, French flag. I think that's the... Yes. Preparing snake oil salesman. <laughs> yeah, dude! I spent 15 bucks on this! The moving passage. This time from GameSpot.com. 
The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone to spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. I actually kind of agree, dude. I didn't really think about it all too much. I just got a message this morning from Nuke saying that there was a new version of this game that released and apparently it was good. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll buy it. But now that I think about it, I actually agree with the game's developers that they shouldn't have developed an additional game. And still I bought it. Ah. <sighs> Oh, oh, I agree, dude. It was simpler time, Stanley. Oh. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. Wait. I don't recall this part of the memory zone. Before. This was this was on a maintenance. What's, this? What's down here? Cold drinks once again $1.25. It's kind of expensive. Ballistical, what did you link me? <laughs> yeah, that's much better. Our first kiss, our first car, our first loco sub. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's the way it's really supposed to be. Thank you, uh, Ballistical. Those are happy memories. Those are happy memories and important ones. There was a time when you weren't subscribed, man. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam. Oh, no. An online video game distributor. Oh, no. I haven't looked at these in years. Oh, God. I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. That's like looking at your Sorry YouTube comments. As well, oh, yikes. Oh, sh <laughs> They put a... Okay, I love this. I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. That's a good point, man. This guy is going full, uh, he's going through the fourth wall and everything, it's just... Straight up roasting stream, Steam reviews right now within the game. That was a Steam review from 2018 as well, so... Oh no, not recommend it. ay ay ay. That one was recommended, but what about this one? Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, no, no, no. For someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You are a little bit, yeah. Don't tell me if I'm preachy, honestly. Yeah, no, you are, bro. Goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. Terse? You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh, dear. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks on my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Oh no. I hate to have the... or I hate to let the people down, man. Uh, what about this What's one? This one yeah. Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly New too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for, for just a game. moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike Take a trip, yeah. negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Mm -hmm. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Yes! New subscriber. And detected. here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning... 
<laughs> Thank you, Roger. You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. Dude! The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their... Of course they won't! Please change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, that never happens, dude. I guess I should become better educated on... Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It Would it actually have gone on for 30 to 45 minutes? There's a good chance it would have. Probably, right? Loco hit skip and it went to an ad? Oh my god, we're breaking through the fifth wall. <laughs> Endurable by any means, but it's well. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. No, you've just been frozen there. There's no way the guy's actually talking for 12 hours straight. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really truly getting longer. And my god, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone, it's completely gone. I've looked at it from every oh, Stanley, you're back. Back. The plan oh, died. Goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I I think it's been a week. A week? Or two weeks. I think it's been longer, bro. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Me talking. I'm gonna do it. Saying no. Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about every. <laughs> okay, I've seen enough of the skip button. Ah, that's a really annoying sound. Please take it away. Is that the narrator's heartbeat? But they didn't understand the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then he's talking too much. They said, first, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the words that they are speaking into the world. As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's assessment of others. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. Yeah. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You there, there's people posting like a thumbs down on all my videos whenever I don't say, hello everyone, my name is... Like there's people leaving thumbs down on every video. Every They're going hard, man. They're committed in disliking my content ever since I stopped doing the intro literally every single video. Loco, did you want me to stop? <laughs> should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because yes. it was spoken, now Tell him, it Stanley. has to happen. I don't know if the guy's the game, name is Stanley. I don't know. Desires. Every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Okay. Hmm. The 
end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never the end mom spaghetti but on the server she looks calm spaghetti to drop bombs but there's spaghetti on my sweater already Alright. I think the skip button is pretty good. It's pretty good quality. Have a good one, Argyle. Oh, no. See you in a little bit. I'm a zoomer, man. I don't have the patience here to keep pressing this button. I need to be entertained every three seconds, okay? My attention span is like sometimes I get bored halfway through a TikTok. Come on. Really? We're slowly becoming Horizon? Is that what we're doing right now? <laughs> it's It's been a bit. Oh, there's a separate category for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe on Twitch? Oh yeah, there is. My bad. I just updated my stream category. Thank you for letting me know. Donation confirmed. <laughs> the end is never 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 Guys, I can't press the button anymore. Oh, never mind. Freedom! At last! Brian's 100% better than the narrator of this game. Yeah, because I get paid every time someone uses Brian. Because when you think about it, the 300 bits from Gavilan, just now, they were like part of the cost of this game. You know, they were like, you know, a chunk of how much I paid for it, which is exactly what we needed. Yeah, this is what you wanted, Cookie Nine. Freaking Cookie Nine, man. Causing this. Um. <laughs> 